Hello folks and welcome. So I have another uh, tour and overview of uh, Garuda Linux, the, um, the uh, dr 460 anized is what they call that, the gaming version of Garuda. Maybe not a cup of tea for everyone, but it, I am going to give you a tour nonetheless. I'll even open up a game I downloaded that is in uh, um, fairly high definition graphics that is um, considered uh, free. You can see my information up there at the top. Um, this is using console. So this is Garuda Linux using a 6.2.9 series kernel. And uh, I have for hardware, I have an i5 with an NVIDIA graphics card with the NVIDIA driver and uh, roughly 32 gigs of RAM. Now the installer, when I installed that, I installed it with the open source drivers. Uh, for some reason, the closed source NVIDIA drivers did not install properly. That's okay, after you install Garuda, you can uh, switch over to the NVIDIA driver after the installation. And you do have some options that you can install, like an office suite and uh, package manager and that kind of thing. So in either case, I'm going to close that and I'm going to first um, just make mention that none of my videos are under two minutes. I do encourage that uh, you actually read my about section and also the, um, the community tab. If you're doing searches for my 100, 100 plus videos, it'll just give you some tips on searches in there. Um, your player should have a gearbox at the bottom of your video player. Hopefully you're not watching this on a mobile device because usually those screens are too small. But in either case, I, all of my videos usually states underneath the videos that um, I recommend that you watch this in the largest screen possible for you. So again, look for that gearbox also on your video player and then select the appropriate screen resolution for you. But again, in either case, uh, you can look at my videos on my YouTube site. I have quite a few on different subjects. So let me first start off with this distribution by actually taking you over to um, DistroWatch just to give you all the particulars on this distribution. So I'm not going to let that load. I am going to go directly to um, DistroWatch. I am using the actual Fire Dragon web browser comes natively installed with this thing and um, I will resize the text just for a second until I can find it. It's number 10 on distrowatch.com. Uh, you can also find distrowatch on my my YouTube site also if you don't uh, have it as a link. And uh, let me resize this back up again just a hair. And so Garuda Linux, it is based out of India. It's an Arch-based distribution and it offers multiple desktops. And I'll show you which one I'm using here. So it's a rolling uh, distribution, Arch. So let's go over to their website and look at some of the information. We've got some beautiful artwork here. And I'm going to click the download section. You can see the minimum requirements right here. And you saw what I was using for... Um, the um, hardware and then this is the verse that I'm currently using this one right here so I'm going to give you a tour on that one they do offer other distributions or other desktops I should say other desktops okay just to let you see what they have on here but I do encourage that you go look for this yourself all right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close down the um, browser itself and start on your on the tour um, starting in the middle of the screen or maybe we should start in the corner I'll start in the corner so DR460 anized KDE plasma this is a plasma desktop all right so I don't know if you want me to do system settings first and um, I will also show you the display settings just to clear the air about what I'm using to record this video on I'm using 3840 by 2160 at 200% scaling, just as an FYI. Might as well scroll down all the way to the bottom and show you about the system. So this is the Plasma version 5.27.3, and you can see the rest of the particulars. And one more time with the hardware. And again, I am using the NVIDIA driver. I installed the system originally with the open source driver just to get it to install. 
uh, for some reason the um, the NVIDIA driver installer did not take off so that's why I used that method and then I was asked to install the actual uh, NVIDIA driver afterwards which was a nice touch I must I must admit I didn't have to go search for it and then it, after that it asked me some additional stuff on the installer like would you like an office suite or whatever so I also manually added um, two things first of all I added this mouse pointer uh, that is the appearance section uh, for cursors um, radioactive is not there but however these are the rest of these mouse pointers were installed by default I just installed that one just as an intention getter hopefully that's large enough maybe I'll switch to a 96 or maybe not usually when you're doing this you need to um, log in and out of the system otherwise you get the weird effects with your mouse pointers in either case global settings um, you know you got your uh, your themes your styles and all kinds of other options I, you know there's too many to shake a stick at on here so I'm going to close that at least I'll let you see what screen resolution I'm in so let's go through the menu real quick my user for today is Mr. Bob it's just a fictitious name we have under favorites you got fire dragon which is the um, web browser you can actually see the box right above it system settings and dolphin is your file manager might as well open that and let you see it's very colorful and uh, and if you noticed how I'm moving the buttons it kind of like uh, wobbly windows uh, anyways so that's your standard folders and of course you can use my method if you've seen any of my videos of the past on how to resize these on the fly all I'm doing is holding down my control key folks with my left hand while using my USB based mouse with this with the scroll wheel on it to resize the icon while holding that control key this comes in handy again when you're doing like pictures or photographs resizing icons I don't have any wallpapers to show you today folks and um, speaking of I'll show that a little bit later when I start right clicking on the desktop just wanted to give you a quick taste of the folders so again this is Dolphin so you can do uh, new windows and etc all from the menu up here so I'm going to close that if you're used to having the buttons on that side the default is over here on the left where you close your your maximize minimize buttons so far so good hopefully so that's under favorites so I'm going to skip over all applications and go to development and uh, just let you see what's in the menus I'm not really going to pause on a lot of things just trying to make this video not too long I will tell you what I've installed though I did install this game here and if you want me to give you a quick taste of it I will just uh, be aware that the sound um, I'll try to turn the sound down a little bit but uh, Exonetic is available for you to download and uh, you can actually get it I think from the welcome screen but let me first give you a taste of this this will open in full screen and more than likely noisy too so let me go and kill the audio or at least turn it down a little bit so you can at least hear me talking and then I will close that and just open up and you can see there's active servers already online I'm just going to give you a quick taste of what one of these uh, screens look like with no bots on them just to let you see the actual uh, graphics and it's very and it's very responsive even if I have this set to uh, 4k with 200% scaling I, I found that it was very responsive here's your typical uh, weaponry if you've never seen this game there I'm just gonna exit this at this point and continue otherwise we'll be here all day all right so um, let me go and continue with that that was in under games again um, there's a lot of things that gets installed in here as far as games because this is the gaming version of the 460 Dragonized or DR 460ized. Under graphics, I don't believe I picked anything for install. I did pick um, Pac Mac for a package manager, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it also has Octopi, and I'll get to that in a little bit. and office I did install uh, I was asked about office suite so I decided to pick LibreOffice I'm not too sure what version so we might as well open this right now and find out what the, the about key has to say and 
All right, we'll do the uh, close here and do the help. It looks like 7.5. It looks like the latest version. So not too bad there, Gerudo. Very modern stuff. All right. Settings. Um, really not going to dwell on this one. I mean, you can go through all the settings. I, I pointed out that I was using an NVIDIA graphics card. So, um, and then system, uh, add and remove. This again would be the Mac and the point and click uh, package manager. Or I actually, uh, I used simple screen recorder to record this video, which I installed through terminal. So you can use terminal obviously, because this is a arch based distribution. A lot of folks that are uh, used to arch based distributions are used to installing terminal. So I installed simple screen recorder uh, as an example. However, it did come with everything else installed in here. So moving along as one would say. Uh, where did I leave off? I found it interesting that they uh, installed fish for your shell. And uh, I'll open up the uh, welcome screen in a second here. I just wanted to go, go through this menu here. And of course, Octopi is also in here. If you're not used to Octopi, that's another package manager that you can uh, install software. Okay. Where am I at? I think I'm under, I think I left at Octopi, yeah. So you can see there's a Heinz variety of stuff in here. Oh, it's got a Piper in here, interesting. I don't particularly have a um, gaming mouse currently hooked up, but uh, Piper I've used in the past, that's for gaming mice. So you may want to investigate that if you have a, um, a qualifying gaming mouse. I know they were uh, leaning heavily in the past, Piper that is, heavily in the past on the, um, Log, uh, I think it was Logitech mice for gaming mice, but maybe they've upgraded a lot of things. I haven't used it in a long time. Anyways, uh, just wanted to make sure, um, just make you understand that that was in here. And it looks like Wine got installed too. Uh, it hasn't been configured, but it's in there. Applications, places, sleep, restart, shutdown, fairly explanatory, self-explanatory lock, log out and switch user, and of course search. All right, so where do we begin here? So let's go downstairs for a second. We have the welcome screen. As I pointed out, there's a couple things that if you click the gamer portion of it, this is where I installed that game I just gave you a demo of. And it's downstairs. So um, somewhere in here. Let's find... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, wrong tab. It would help if I click on the right tabs. So it would be uh, this one right here. It's called Exonotech. All you got to do is click that and hit apply. All right, so that's the gamer portion of it, of the welcome screen. You can see all kinds of different things in there. Way too many things for me to click on. Um, BTRFS is the filing system that gets installed, just as an FYI, um, instead of extension 4 when you install this. I didn't see an option for extension 4, by the way, during the installation process. But there's quite a few things over here on your welcome screen, which is way too many things to click on. And uh, let's go through the menu. That was the welcome screen. This is my console. I already showed you uh, earlier just the basic information regarding my username and the OS itself. And then again, the uh, web browser. And uh, Dolphin File Manager, one more time. I'll open that and close it. And uh, just as a reminder, this mouse pointer got installed by me, not by the system. You got a system monitor here. You can see this uh, distribution is very colorful. Uh, snapper tools, another shortcut to system settings. Um, your Octopi add and remove and my simple screen recorder icon. Moving toward the top, the panel bar, if you right click on it, you can go into edit mode and widen it if you want. Adding widgets, I'll cover, cover in a little bit here. And then I'll walk across here. The simple screen recorder is what's being uh, used to record this video. Clipboards, your volume thing, Bluetooth thing, microphone thing, wireless thing. 
and multifunction status and notification thing, and your uh, calendar thing, time and date thing, and of course your, your Mr. Bob new session logout. The logout does, is a multifunction key. Not only does that, but uh, I'll hit cancel. Right clicking on the screen, you can do a ton of things. Configure your uh, desktop and wallpaper. And uh, here's some of the wallpapers that come with this. So I'm just scroll through some of them. Very colorful. Now we know what that is. The Garuda Eagle. You can, of course, bring in your own wallpaper. Add your own image. Mouse actions, location, icons, filter, and about. Close, right click, configure displays. One more time, I am using 3840 by 2160. Again, if you are finding a lot of this too small or whatever, especially mobile devices, um, can't really help you there if you're using a small iPhone or an Android phone, but more importantly, if you're looking at this on a computer, go t take a look at your video player on YouTube. There's usually a gearbox down there where you can change the video resolution. Again, I'm filming in 3840 by 2160 at 200%. Close, right click, create new something. Um, probably have shown um, some of these videos in the past where I, I actually covered this distribution on my previous YouTube channel. I covered all of their desktops all in one video, but um, there's a lot of things you can do with Create New, including a uh, link to location. Uh, one of the features that I use with this also, in addition to um, some other things that I could use with RSync, is um, you can also create web-based icons using URL links. Icons, sort by, size, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, let's cover widgets real quick. The widgets are colorful. Again, I'm not going to spend any time installing any of that stuff. I'm just going to let you see that they're very colorful icons or widgets. Close, right click. Uh, add another panel, edit mode. You can also achieve that by right clicking that. Okay, and then you can change the panel height if you like. I'm going to close that and close that. And I think I pretty much covered it. So this is Garuda in a nutshell, the DR460ized gaming version. Thank you for watching.